say, my name is Malay. I'm one of my mom's seven kitty kids. Okay, we're gonna be filming Dollar Tree video how to organize your kitchen on a cheap. And let's get started. So the first one that I found in my Dollar Tree store, I hope I said that correctly, it is three quarter canister. And I'm planning to put here either the flour, sugar, you can also store the cornflakes. And if you wanna see how I'm gonna be organizing and making my kitchen beautiful, I recently moved this house. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna be uploading that after this. And I got two of those, by the way. So the next thing which I thought was amazing that you can find for a dollar is this glass jar where I'm planning to put my sugar so I can put it very beautifully on the counter. It looks aesthetically nice. Opens very easily, but also it's very tight so the air doesn't get in. And to find something for something like this for a dollar, I think it's really amazing. I have two of these. Next. I guess I will be saying a lot of next. Uh, is this that I don't know exactly what I want to do with them. Here in the picture shows you can store tomatoes, spaghetti. Uh, you also can store already cooked food for the fridge if you want to organize your fridge, which I'm planning to film that video in the future. My four-legged kids make a lot of noise, so I apologize for that. I don't know how, I think I bought, let's see. I have one, two, three of these. You might be hiding another one. It's just when I went in my Dollar Tree store, I wanted everything. I mean, they never held things there, and this time they did, so I bought them. I will use what I need, and the rest I might take it back or use it in other places in my house. I think that's really good. And we also have, this was all three together for Dollar, which I think is amazing. You can store snacks in them. You can, they are separately like that. Very good size, and you also can store your forks, your knives which I bought something different for that. So I'm gonna be planning to put something small here, probably some snacks that I buy for my daughter and I can probably go put it really high. She can get them. And don't say that you can get them. My daughter is right next to me. And this is not a Dollar Tree store buy. This is another baby of mine. Just to let you know, this is Hercules. He doesn't like to be cold. He squeaks, but he wants to be part of the mama's video. Do you? Okay, there's another kid coming. I don't know if you can say it. Anyway, so I have two floor house, so I bought this to carry around my cleaning supplies so I don't have to be running up and down, up and down, so I can put my sprays in here, my Clorox, my sponges, and just take it on a go. And my cats are biting the cable and just go all over the house. I'll clean all three bathrooms and everything else I need. I think it's really comfortable. It's a good size and it's a dollar. Win-win. And we have much more. Let's see. Here, okay, I will show that in the beginning video. So I have four of these. So I plan to put, like I said, sugar, cornflakes. I think it's really nice and it opens really easy. So kids can open it, small kids, if you have, I don't know how many small kids. I have a teenager, but she's really clumsy. Okay, let's keep going. And here we have, these are covers for this item that I showed. They were just separately. They're very tightly airtight, I guess you can say. Then I have three of these. I don't know what I'm planning to do with them. I think in one of them I might put my potatoes. So it looks really nice. And another one just maybe save some miscellaneous items that I don't want to be shown and so it looks really nice and cute in my pantry. So I, it's really good size. Let's see if it actually says size in here. Um, no, it doesn't, but it's really good size to store really, really much anything you need. You can use this around the house and even I had an idea you could store some kitchen towels. So it looks really nice like that. I think that's a good one. That was the receiver fell down. And my kitties are still here. So let's see. In this bag, we have... Okay, so I think this was really amazing and cute. I guess we call them table mats. That's what they call them? Table mats. Table mats. I mean, how cute is this? I mean, this goes really for every season. I mean, it says live, love, and eat. I think it's kind of like that 
farmhouse style or you can use it pretty much for anything. I think it's really nice and just a dollar, you cannot get better than that. I'm planning to film also how I organize our decor at my table. Anyways, this, I know that you, they, this is charger plate, but I'm planning to use this for when I bake my cakes because it's very steady and I didn't have nothing big enough and I don't really like the things, what do you call when you put the cakes, um, they're like tall and the plate on top, I don't like them because I feel like I cannot decorate, so I took this charger plate, I like gold and I think it will work out great and it's just a dollar, you don't lose nothing. And here's a little bit of items that I needed for the kitchen. New, new tongs. That's how they call them. Yeah, tongs. Pines. I don't know. It says that in English. Where is the name? Is dishwasher safe? It's a dollar. I needed new ones because when we moved, I threw all the old ones about icky and ugly away. And you just go to Dollar Tree, get it for a dollar, and you have brand new items. And here I have some. Fall decor items that I'm going to show at the end of the video. Mostly I bought those for the kitchen and I also going to be filming that video so stay tuned for that. This, you can use this if you have already small cabinet space so you can put your, you can put plates on top and bowls in the bottom or reverse. I'm actually planning to use this like this. Well, no. Yeah, like this. So I can store my pants so they don't fall over. So really, really reversible. How you say reversible? That's how you say it? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if my idea works, but that's what I'm planning to use for because I have enough storage space for dishes in my kitchen. So, but anyway, this was meant for really for dishes to separate if you have a small space, small cabinet space. Okay, let's keep going and let's see. Oh, this is not really kitchen or pantry related. Um, I actually bought this to organize my my makeup, like my nail polishes and everything. So it's not all over the place. And here inside you can put your maybe your hair ties. That's what I'm planning to do. I don't know. It's a dollar. I thought it's good. So I took it. And you never had enough of self-adhesive knocks and it's a dollar. This one has four and they hold up to three pounds. So I'm actually planning to use this for under my sink to hang like my, <coughs> bless you, my gloves. Um, I also thought it's a good idea. You can hang your like your cooking spoons. You just attach a little string to them. You can hang them if you don't have a lot of space or to put them. So just stay tuned for that. And this one has three and holds up to two pounds. So I have two of these and it's a dollar. Normally I know that in like, you know, even in Walmart, they're about $3.99, the big ones. Who wants to spend $3.99? Especially if you have to replace them. Anyway, so that's there. Okay. And here, okay. So here we just have a smaller size of this that I showed in the beginning of the video, the storages. It's a smaller size, so here you can put like maybe chocolate chips for the cooking or any kind of small candy, even some small cookies I believe you can. I was planning to put some Halloween candy and leave on the counter, but probably not a very good idea because my teenage daughter is going to empty them really fast. Also, Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you how you can put very pretty, pretty tags that I think I might have bought from a Dollar Tree and it will look really nice and it will look elegant and just stay tuned for that. Tune for that. I have two of these. We have more. <laughs> so here we have a glass jar. So these glass jars I thought would be good for let's if you if you make your <laughs> Madeleine, my cat, for like a loose coffee, ground coffee, that's how I say it. You can pour in them and put a very beautiful tag and leave in the counter, it looks really nice. Also, I thought this is a good idea for a bathroom to keep your cotton balls or your, what you call to clean your ears? Cotton swabs. Yes, cotton swabs. Q-tips. Q-tips <laughs> in one of these. So I got two of those. I don't know if I will end up using them for the kitchen or, or my bathroom. 
legal seat. I have two of those. Imagine that was a glass jar. And let's see. I bought this. I thought that it's a very good idea. Originally, I thought I bought one for the oil and one actually for the kitchen soap because I thought it's something new. It's a cute DIY because you can open it here and the soap, it will just come out. I don't know if it will work that way. It might be too thick, might not, but I thought for a glass, a dollar, it's really cool. And I got two of them because they were last two. And because I have something else that I found better for the oil that I will show right now. So I don't know if I'll end up using for the oil or something else. I think they're cute. You never lose a dollar buying this. Okay. And this, you always need them. So I just got three of them. They're a dollar each. They are just simple little baskets. Um, we eat a lot of fruit in my house, so originally they didn't have the gold one, so I thought that I would spray paint them in gold and put some fruit like on the counter, like separate. But now they have the gold ones in a Dollar Tree, so I might go back and buy those and use this for something else. You can use them under the sink, like fold all the little towels, really cute. Uh, I will show that in a video. For now, I don't know, but it's a dollar, so I grabbed three of these. You can also use them in the bathroom, store things. I, I think they're just amazing. I mean, come on, it's a dollar, and look how cute they are. They had also the bigger sizes, but I didn't take those, so I took these small ones. Anyway, my kitties are on the rest of the items. So we're gonna move a little bit. Hey, my lady, and the hair, please. Okay. He has a hair piece again, he wants to be part of the video, so. Okay, so these are kind of the ones, like I showed the big ones in the beginning of the video. They also are three together. You can use them for a bathroom, like for the small door, and put maybe your uh, hair ties, anything, really much anything, or you can also use for the forks, knives, and so on, snacks, I mean, whatever works for your house and also have this. They also work three together and those are like kind of you can see through them and these ones are like all together like that white and it's three of them. Okay, my cat is getting antsy right now. And let's see what we have here. Let me pull this closer. Okay. I thought this was very cool in a dollar tree to clean your blinds. You just put this inside of lines and go like that and it comes actually with a refill which i think is kind of cool for a dollar and who likes to clean lines nobody so this will just ease your time and make it faster you know just besides the organizing more of the small canisters pretty much for anything candy coffee sugar cone plates if you have something that you buy really small you can store in these if you buy some healthy maybe granola Granola, that's how granola. Granola. My daughter just hurt me. I bought this originally before I bought my new pants. So for my new pants, it's not gonna really work anymore. But I think they're really cute for a dollar. So I might use on my old ones because my new ones cannot use a metal. It can scratch. But there are some. I have a very old pan that I use for Christmas to make something called sponchiki. And this will work great. I didn't have anything like that. And I need two metal ones and it's a dollar. You never lose. Win win. Okay, and just you always need Ziploc bags, also a dollar. Here's some decor that I will show by end of the video that I'm planning to use for kitchen. When I saw it, I couldn't believe it's a dollar. And let's see, this is our last one. Oh no, we have one. Okay, so I did buy this for my fork kitchen organizer. I mean, it's white. I try to go for a white. I like white. Most of the things in my house is white now. It's that makes it really clean look and it's harder to keep it clean, but I don't have a problem with that. It's a dollar. It's great organizer. And more storage. I think that's the same like the other ones, the small ones. And this I got this I actually got from my daughter's bathroom, or I may end up using for kitchen for the sponges. Um, you also for organizing bathroom, like put your jewelry, maybe your hair ties, and something else on the side. 
easy. Hey, here, police. Oh my God. This, I had an idea. They only had two left. It's actually free solar can storage. You can use for that. I may end up using for that if I organize another video made for organizing your fridge. But for now, I had an idea to put not the cans from solar, but the normal like soup cans. And I think you, you can make it very pretty like that. Not really much. Any idea will work. And let's see, we are almost done. What do we, okay. So, this is a silver. I got something now for my sink where I put my sponge and, and like a dish soap to make it instead of beautiful in like porcelain white. But I don't really like that, so I got this and I'm planning to spray paint this in a bowl because I have a lot of gold in my kitchen and I think it's really nice. Silver doesn't fit my kitchen. It used to be a lot of silver things, now it's gold. I like that better, so I'm going to spray paint this and I will show how to do that. It's really easy. And my cat is stealing my DIY things. And let's see. Glass. Okay, so these are the cooks. The wooden hooks you can even leave them outside somewhere by your cabinet if you need to hang something like a little cute towel you can use them for the room i mean there's dollar each i mean how cute is this they also hold up to three pounds and i have three packs of these beautiful wooden hooks so like i found the end of the video i bought some few decor from a dollar store i, I cannot believe it's a dollar, dollar tree my daughter keeps correcting me all the time I don't know if I will end up using everything for the kitchen, but the plan is for the kitchen. So, first are these very cute, kind of, that gives you that warm feel, little pumpkins. And I got four of them because they were the last ones, if they were a dollar. I mean, look, how cute is that? It's just a dollar. And I had two of these white ones, also gorgeous, for the kitchen. And this I couldn't believe. I got two of them because that's the old had left. And has a letter K, like for my name, Christine, and this K, little pumpkins. I mean, can you believe that this is from a dollar tree? I, I couldn't. I mean, they're just gorgeous. It's a dollar. That I'm planning to decorate for the kitchen. And what else we have here? And, oh, I got two of these houses. I mean, can you believe this is from Dollar Tree? No. You put a little candle, makes it really homey. You really can keep it all year round. You don't have to just use it for fall. My plan is to use it for, that's my puppy girl talking. I have three of them. Um, all year long, put a little candle in. You can keep it for Christmas, for fall, for Thanksgiving. I mean, I think it's just cute. I mean, make, gives you that home feel. And the last I have here, candles, dollar, and this is more like a Dollar Tree style. I mean, that real shine where they write, uh, it says grateful, thankful, blessed. But I think it's just adorable. I'm planning to use this for my kitchen. I mean, it's a dollar. You can change it. You can probably even paint over that shine. But I think it's, it's okay. It's a dollar. And that's for my kitchen. So let's see. We have two more and we are almost done. Okay, so that's the last one. Like I said, I got two of these houses okay. and I think we are done. And my cameraman, could you come point the camera on the hair police to see what he's doing? This is how we have to film the videos. Hair police stealing the IYs, trying to destroy it. <laughs> done. Oh, no, don't stop. So thank you for watching my video. That was my Dollar Tree ideas for organizing my kitchen. Stay tuned and see how everything ends up looking. Thank you, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Bye. Hi. I just wanted to say thank you if you did watch my whole video. I hope you got some inspiration and some things that you can look for in your Dollar Tree. Um, I did film this video before Thanksgiving, honestly, it just never edited before and I thought, well, they still have everything in Dollar Tree. I just recently went two days ago, you can find everything that I showed in my video and they did work out great. Um, I didn't show in this video, but I have the full pantry, how I did end up organizing in my Get Ready for Holidays video, that is my last video. You can watch that video, go check it out. 
I will link it below so you can see it if you like and just give a thumbs up it helps my channel and if you really enjoyed it come back for more and definitely for more inspiration and of course for my curious cats and I have one here with a mama she's a mom of the babies her name is Bella and she's very sweet she doesn't like to be hold but we love her just the way she is and in every of my videos you will see some of my babies guess how many I have all together between my kitties and my doggies. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video and come back for more. Bye.